Welcome to Windows 8.1 Lessons, and this is Lesson 18, How to Create, Rename, and Delete Folders in Your Email in the Windows 8.1 Mail App. So we're continuing the usage of our email app from Windows 8.1 that hopefully you've configured and use as your email client. How do you create folders and manage your email in the mail app? Well, when you're in your email, one of the things that a lot of people don't understand is that your inbox, your email inbox, is the same as your mailbox at your home. A lot of people just leave email in the inbox and it gets there and it adds and adds and adds and then you get hundreds of messages and it gets a little hard to go through after a while. Think of your inbox as your mailbox that you have at home. When you receive mail, you don't just choose the letters you want to read and leave the other ones in the box. You take all of the letters and then you'll deal with these letters and some of them you'll keep some of them you'll throw away depending on what you want to do think of your inbox as the same thing if you want to get things organized and work you need to have a clean inbox you'll know that every time you check your mail the inbox only has new messages and that the ones that are important, you'll create folders and you'll deal with that in the different folders of these, uh, with these messages. So, you receive mail. Now, you start thinking, okay, I receive important mail. I want to create a folder that states that I have important stuff. Or maybe create a folder that will be specific to a friend. Maybe you receive mail from your family and a lot of those messages messages you want to keep. You can create a folder called family or called my brother, my sister, my mother. Uh, you create a folder that goes with the subject of the emails you want to keep. So for example here, we will create a folder called lessons because this is a computer lesson video. To create folders, you choose, first of all, the email that you want to use the folder with. If you have only one email, it's not a problem. In my case, I've got two. I've got a Gmail and a Hotmail. I want to create those in my Gmail address. So I'll click Gmail to make sure that I'm in my Gmail. Once you're in the right, fold, the right place, you'll notice that on the left side in the blue panel, there's something called folders. And if you click here, You'll notice one thing is that it already contains many types of folders and actually if you've been using a Gmail or a Outlook online and you've created folders already, they will show up in your mail app because the mail app will import everything from your email address. But maybe you have just the basic ones also. So I'm going to create a folder called Lessons. Now, one important thing is that you can place the folder just about anywhere in your folder list here. I'm going to put a lessons folder below the inbox. So I want to have it next to my inbox. How will I do that? Well, I'll just click inbox and then I'll right click or if you have a touch device swipe up from the bottom of your screen and here you have manage folders on the left side I'll click that here you have create a folder create a subfolder empty folder or pin to start I'm going to create a subfolder because it's going to be underneath inbox but if you create a folder it's okay because it's going to show in the list of folders also Create a subfolder under inbox. Okay, I'll call it computer lessons and click OK. Computer lessons has been created under inbox. Now, if I look at my folders once again, 
notice that under inbox I now have something called computer lessons. Let's say that this message here that talks about folders I want to keep in my computer lessons folder. What I'll do is just either swipe up or right click on your screen you have to select the message, it's very important. So it has to be in blue, or you have to put that little check mark right in front of it. It's gonna pop up that bar at the bottom. And click Move. Notice that you now have a list of your folders. So you can click Computer Lessons. And here it goes. If you noticed, it disappeared from my inbox. But if I go into my folders and click Computer Lessons, notice that I have a message now in here. I didn't have any before. So I just moved that message to my computer lessons folder. So that's how you manage. You make folders and manage your email by sending it to the good folder, the ones you want to keep. If your friends are sending you uh, PowerPoint presentations of all sorts, then why not create PowerPoints? Just create a folder called PowerPoint or Pictures and send the messages you want to keep in there so that they'll be really easy to go to if you want to and everything is going to stay organized on your computer. And of course, if you want to go back to your inbox, it's quite easy. All you have to do is uh, click Folders and go Inbox. That's how you go through. So you click the folders on the left side and you click the folder you want to see. If you want to go back to your inbox, that's how you do it. Now, you know how to create a folder. You know how to send to that folder the emails you want to keep. How about I want to delete a folder that I'm not using anymore? Because if you create a lot of folders, there might be a time, for example, if you uh, are using a folder to... Um, keep track of these computer lessons, for example. Maybe in a year or two years from now, you're going to say, I don't need that folder anymore. I learned everything and I don't need these, uh, these emails. What can you do? Well, you'll delete the folder. How do you do that? You go into the folder section on the left side. You choose the folder that you want to delete. Be careful. You can delete important stuff if you're not careful, careful here. You'll click Computer Lessons. You see the folder is written in that second column here at the top, Computer Lessons. And now you can right-click Manage Folders or swipe up, of course, if you have a touch device from the bottom of the screen. And here you can rename a folder or we have Delete Folder. I'll delete the folder and here it's gone. If I click Folders, you'll see that Computer Lessons is not there anymore. I've just removed my computer lessons folder. So be careful about that because you can delete some very very important stuff. Now one important thing you see that computer lessons here why it's here it's in this is a French for trash this is the trash can. My trash can now has the folders so it's very important to check for um, these folders in your trash can. Once you have the folders erased, you can of course, uh, you know, just erase the trash can. Here you can uh, select everything and simply delete everything here. Here we go. So that's about it. And now all that was in the trash can is gone. By the way, if you're wondering how I selected everything without clicking, uh, very, very cool shortcut, Control A, which means Control All or Select All. So that's what I did. So that's how you manage folders, delete folders, create folders, transfer the messages around. And of course, you'll want to uh, check that, of course. In the Manage Folders, you can also rename folders. So if you have, for example, if I look at my folders, um, I have Computer Lessons here. And I might want to 
rename computer lessons, what you can do is click manage the folder and rename folder. And here at computer lessons, I can say test, for example, and it's changed test. Now, every time I click folders, you'll see that it's test. And don't forget, you want to delete. All you have to do is manage folders, delete folder, and here you're gone. No more test, no more computer lessons, no more anything unimportant. So that's how you manage the folders and the mail app. Very important to uh, keep that in mind. And um, that's how you will keep your inbox clean. It's very important to keep your inbox clean because uh, of if you keep hundreds and hundreds of messages in your inbox, the biggest problem here is that you'll just have a cluttered inbox. If you're searching for an email from someone, it takes time because your email's gone. And so uh, why not just make the folders? Once they're done, it's even better because, uh, you know, at the beginning it's a little hard. Maybe you have hundreds of messages and say, wow, it's going to take time. But once you're going to create the folders, you'll be sending these messages to these folders and you'll notice that your inbox is going to become clean and it's going to be easier after to manage because you can already send all the new emails to the right folders and delete what you don't want. If you enjoy our computer lessons, well, subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you've stumbled upon this video just by accident, well, keep uh, just click on the, 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 the video, the name of the channel, sorry, and uh, you'll see that we have full lessons. This is, of course, lesson 18, and um, this is how to manage folders in Windows 8.1 mail app. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, why not ask away? And maybe you have a suggestion to improve our lessons. Ask away. We'll try to do what we can. There are no stupid questions. If there's something you don't understand, you can ask and we'll try to answer. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our computer lessons. Why not share it with everyone on Facebook and all of your social places. And hopefully you'll come back to these computer lessons. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.